Today we are going to demonstrate a simple ransomware encryption technique I created in Go language. It is simply encrypt only one single file. It is reading from the disk space of the victim. Uh, after the encryption, the file extension is changed to dot encrypted. And we can use the ChaCha20 encryption algorithm to encrypt the secret.txt. After the generation of the key of the ChaCha20 encryption, uh, that uh, key was also being encrypted uh, by the RSA uh, public key encryption algorithm. So the idea behind it, uh, the victim couldn't able to obtain the data itself, which was being encrypted by the ransomware, and it can be only being decrypted by the attacker if the ransom money uh, is being paid. So let's go over a quick demonstration with this. I already uh, compiled the sample, so I'm going to the victim device. Here's our ransomware sample. I'm going to create a dummy file, secret.txt, and name it as 1234. Save it. Execute the ransomware. So it is being encrypted. We can check out the file in hex editor. And as you can see, it is being encrypted. So we can uh, use this as an attacker. For the victim is uh, send us the money and then send us the file. So we are going to de decrypt this and give the file itself. So let's copy this document here. We already have the tool to decrypt this secret.txt. So as an attacker, I have the RSA key and I can able to decrypt that file. So the decryption has been done successfully in the attacker device. And here is the encrypted Salsa 20 key in an hexadecimal value. If I copy that value, and then search it on the encrypted file. You can see that it has been embedded inside the encrypted file uh, because as an attacker, I wanted to know that value. So I am going to use my RSA private key uh, to decrypt this portion, which contains uh, the encrypted version of the ChaCha20 key and then use that key value to decrypt the content of the document. Uh, as you can see in here, it is being decrypted. Here is the decrypted ChaCha20 key and there is a nonce. It is used to randomize uh, the, the encryption process. So I'm going to use both of them and then decrypt the file itself. And here is the output, which is being generated from here. One, two, three, four. This is the content of the de decrypted file. So that's basically a sample of the ransomware de demonstration and how a real ransomware samples works. Uh, obviously, it is just a test. So we are not going to harm any kind of device. We only encrypt single file. Um, so what we are going to do with that information, uh, we are going to our malware analysis lab and then demonstrate same step. Let me delete that and create another file. Uh, and do some analysis with IDA uh, freeware. I'm going to drag and drop the sample. So 
our uh, analysis will be go to the main section of the ransomware and then do an analysis during the uh, a, the key generation uh, of the cha-cha routine uh, since uh, it is generating the key itself totally randomly um, by reading the document uh, we are going to create a breakpoint in the key generation algorithm uh, and then try to obtain that data uh, that will be our use case and then uh, after ob obtaining key itself uh, we are trying to decrypt it without using an RSA encryption so if we go to the down section a little bit we can see that it is using RSA public key encryption and there is a random key generation function over here I'm going to set a breakpoint to there. It is going to use a 32 byte uh, value of the key length to generate uh, that value and then use it a pointer. We can see that over here. I'm going to do change as ChaCha 20 key pointer. So I am assuming this is the value being stored as a pointer it showed the ChaCha20 key uh, during the encryption process if I go down a little bit we can see that after the generation uh, this data being uh, encrypted by RSA uh, to make it almost impossible to uh, collect and collect the uh, ChaCha20 key and uh, which can be used to de decrypt the data uh, without sending any kind of ransom money uh, let's go down a little bit there is the OS read file function it is reading the secret.txt uh, that was used to uh, encrypt the, the content of the file after the reading let's go down a little bit more you can see uh, the Go library for the ChaCha20 being used this is another giveaway finding the encryption algorithm what I am trying to find is another random key generation function which is this one uh, remember there is a key generation and nonce cre creation and both of them is you script the file uh, if you can able to obtain this data we are able to decrypt the file content so let's go down a little bit more and another function for the cha-cha so after the encryption process is being done uh, os write file function used to overwrite the secret.txt uh, and fill with encrypted content and then change the file extension to the dot encrypted OS rename uh, function being used so let's go over to the IDA debugger functionality to get the return value of the key so we hit the random uh, number gen generator uh, used by the ransomware we are going to step over this and go to the pointer value so you can see that it's going to start with a 0 42 11 0 uh, a so this is basically value of the memory address you can see it over here it is called as EBX register value in memory if we go to that by synchronizing can see that it is starting in here to the zero value there this is the key being generated uh, for the ChaCha20 encryption so what we are going to do is simply we can 
synchronize to the EBX value and then copy that until zero values. So let's copy it. I'm going to export data as a hex string. We know that it is a 32 value bit data and then there is another nouns generation. I will hit run once more. Step over. Go to the pointer. Export the value. So all of this data being utilized during the encryption process, I'm going to finish the debugging. Here is the encrypted data. We can take a look at it once more. If you rec recognize that the content of the file is changed, so it is using a random uh, encryption sequence, what we are going to do is we are going to copy this document to the file directory. Remember that uh, currently we are analyzing this malware sample and we don't have the RSA uh, private or public key to perform this decryption. We only have the ChaCha20 key, uh, which is, uh, that's the only thing that we need currently. We don't need the RSA key. Let's try to do the decryption with the Python code. So this Python code is basically uh, getting these two values uh, and then using to to perform a decryption uh, routine. Uh, I will be execute the sample. Decryption is successful and here's the output. So what we do so far is we basically debug the software itself. We, uh, we debug the ransomware itself to get the ChaCha20 key during the key, key generation and then uh, we capture the nouns value in, in the hexadecimal value format. Um, after the encryption process has been done, we already have the key and nouns and then use this information to decrypt uh, this document uh, without using RSA. The important lesson it is uh, not possible to decrypt each uh, different files uh, being encrypted uh, in a ransomware, in a real ransomware uh, sample, uh, because it is going to encrypt uh, every single uh, file extension that contains TXT or Word documents uh, inside a victim device. So in every single file it is going to create another ChaCha20 key uh, or if they are using other encryption algorithms it is going to generate a different key value randomly so uh, it is not possible to debug and then collect uh, the key values for every single encrypted document and because of that usually it is almost impossible to decrypt the file once it is being encrypted uh, since we are uh, interfering during the encryption process, we can able to collect the key itself and then do the decryption. But usually it is not working like that. Um, so that's pretty much it. I hope you learned something new and thank you very much for your listening.